So I'm on a three day trip and it's just like, okay, so first off I want to apologize because I did not start off this vlog at all very good. Now, I'm on a three day trip. Yesterday I did Denver to Boston, Boston to, why is he saying, why did I say Denver? Detroit to Boston and then Boston to Detroit. And then I had a Nashville flight. Um my Nashville flight got delayed because there was bad weather there was thundering and lightning in Atlanta and whenever it's lightning they have to close the ramp for the ramp for safety so our inbound aircraft from Atlanta came in super late our flight was supposed to leave at 9 we didn't leave until 11 13 and we got to Nashville uh, at 11 something central time and by the time I got here and in the bed it was like 106 which means it was 206 eastern time so and then now by the time you guys see this this will be well passed over but there's some kind of major it outage today uh, where all the airplanes for united delta and american have been grounded um no word on if my flight has been affected by this or not my flight i'm supposed to leave out at 3 15 today to lax and then from lax to san francisco so my flight still says that it's on time um i do know because i looked that um i i do know that the inbound aircraft is coming from salt lake city but i don't know where it was coming from before that like if it was already in salt lake city um but everything was grounded so it's not even just atlanta i mean when atlanta is down it affects all delta operations significantly because it's our hub but all of them were grounded so it's not even just atlanta at this point so i don't know what's gonna happen i will keep you updated as you can see i have my workout outfit on so i'm going to go outside and walk a little bit i'm actually it's 10 o'clock now our pickup is at 153 pending um so I'm going to let my camera battery charge just a little bit because I just lost the notch. And usually when I lose a notch, that means it's close to dying. And then, so maybe <clears throat> I'm going to let it charge for about 30 minutes, my phone and my camera charger. And then I'm going to go and just look around at the city. I just ate breakfast. Um, the breakfast was out on a very nice balcony. Uh, I'll pop in that clip because I took that on my phone. I didn't bring my camera with me. So I had a really nice breakfast outside, feels good, and I sat outside and ate. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Let's go explore Nashville and see if our planes can take off again. All right, guys, so I said, oh, let me um, let my camera charge for 30 minutes and then I fell asleep. I gotta find me some coffee. Um, our flight still shows on time. So it's like 11.30 central time and I have to uh, have a 153 pickup. So the goal is to be back by 12.30 at the latest, preferably 12.20. So let's just go see some sights. That's all we really have time to do because I've slept so long. I'm tired. Just lost 
But I ain't going nowhere except closer than you Lose myself when you stay I get cooked like a stew Key to love, gotta spend No one do me like you I mean nobody, nobody do me like you Just want your body, my hobby Fucking with you Swear ain't no bitch on this planet Fucking with you Apply pressure, I do damage Something you knew Hey, whoa What wake me up in the morning? Uh, the sound of your voice is so gorgeous uh, My baby first so important Damn, she ride shotgun in that forest she point that in and get more shit Breaking up, hurt my shawty, can't afford it That love so deep, she the warmest uh, My baby come with some motion I'ma sip on that like a potion No, I'ma swim in that like the ocean She got me in my bag, my emotions She made that eye contact and I'm frozen And I'm frozen, and I'm frozen Friend to a lover, that's a promotion When you stay, I get cooked like a stew Kid of love, gotta spend No one do me like you I mean nobody, nobody do me like you Just want your body, my hobby Fucking with you Swear ain't no bitch on this planet Fucking with you Apply pressure, I do damage Something you know Hey, whoa What wake me up in the morning? Uh, the sound of your voice is so gorgeous whoa. My baby first so important Damn, she ride shotgun in that forest she point at it and get more shit Break it up, hurt my shawty, can't afford it That love so deep, she the warmest me a latte I needed it because I was so like tired and groggy this like you know I planned on sleeping into a certain time and then my mom called and woke me up with the news of the outage and then I was kind of like I'm not really sure what's gonna happen Update, our flight was supposed to leave at 318 Central, it's now ugh, scheduled to leave at 4.30, even though it's not leaving till 4.30, they still want us to report at the same time, because they're probably hoping that that the they'll make some, point, some time in the air and maybe we can get this flight out sooner than 4.30. Um, our original inbound flight was coming from Salt Lake City. But that plane is in Cincinnati and it's not leaving Cincinnati until seven tonight and it will get to Salt Lake at nine, which we probably wouldn't have been, we would have been legal to work that, but they probably would have had to leave us at the hotel and they try not to do that. The checkout here is 11, it is 138. So we're already like not leaving at the checkout and I'm sure they probably pay extra fees for that. Or they may not, but they may have like a special agreement. But who knows? I don't know because I don't pay it, it's not my money. But uh, that's the update. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of makeup and then I'm gonna head out the door. I need to, I'm just about ready once I finish this. 
I'm gonna throw this stuff in my bag, close it, grab my salads out of the, oh, grab my salads out of the fridge and get on my way. Um, I really could have done this at the airport because our pickup is 153, so we're gonna be there way earlier than our flight. But it's all good. I usually try to leave out the room like five minutes earlier than the pickup to give myself time to get ice and get downstairs. But let's see what I can do. It is 139 right now, so I have like 14 minutes. Y'all know I don't really do much with the makeup, so this really should take me like maybe two, three, five more minutes at the most. Then I'll pack it up. But besides that, I did go down near the Country Music Hall of Fame. That was nice. I would love to come back to Nashville and experience the nightlife because even during the daytime, these people are lit. Like I saw all the tours, like the pedal tours or the tractor tours and all the girlies with their cowboy boots and their booze and they're singing the country music or some even hip hop music. So I would love to come back like for leisure or even a layover where we don't get in super late at night. Cause like last night we got in super late. So I really only had the morning to explore, but I would love to come here and like, let's say you get here at like 12 o'clock in the day. And then maybe you leave early in the next morning, but you have the rest the whole day to explore. I would live to do something like that. And probably, I would probably go to the country museum. Um, I saw the little country walk of fame. That was nice. Um, my late grandfather played the guitar and the drums and I don't think he really ever liked country music, but I will say that I saw that uh, Jimi Hendrix had a square on the Hall of Fame and he loved himself some Jimi Hendrix. So it was, was kind of funny because I was thinking about him and I was thinking about, you know, if he was here, he would probably be so proud of me. And right as I was thinking that, I saw Jimi Hendrix squared i was like <laughs> he always pops up when i when i need him i was getting a little teary y'all don't judge me my period is due in a couple days but let me finish this up i'm almost out of this makeup so it's a good thing that after today i only have my flights tomorrow and I won't need the makeup because I'm off for four days and I'll get some more while I'm at home. <sighs> okay, y'all. See you on the flip side. If anything changes with our flights, then I will tell you. Otherwise, tonight we go from Nashville to LAX and then LAX to San Franco. We don't have much time in San Francisco, but y'all know me. At minimum, I was gonna try to walk around or something, see something, but we don't have much time there. And based on these delays, we might not have ooh, any time up there. So I don't really know how that's gonna turn out, but I will keep you guys updated. Goodbye. Y'all, what a hot mess. So I just want to say that, I know I said earlier, oh, you know, we have a short rest in San Francisco and I'm probably still gonna get up and do something. That's a lie, I'm not. Our flight was delayed out of Nashville to LA and then it was delayed out of LA, of course, obviously because late inbound crew, late outbound. So our rest has been reduced to like 10 hours and change. Um, it is currently 10.43, 10 hours and 42 minutes. It's 10.43 California time, which means it's 1.43 Eastern time. We have pickup at 7.55, which means I'm gonna wake up at 6.25, which is not too bad. That's just 9.25 Eastern time, but it's just like, I'm just tired, you know? 
like and then this is the short San Francisco so we're not near anything that's worth looking at we're near the airport so yeah even if I did want to get up I would have to like uber to where all the good stuff is so I'm gonna have to come back to San Francisco and try to see if I can get the long so that I can stay at the nicer hotel downtown um personally the hotel that we're at I don't like it the lobby was really nice but when we got off the elevator it kind of smelled like pee a little bit and then the room kind of stinks too but I wiped down everything and I sprayed so it smells a little bit better now that I sprayed the Lysol everywhere but still stinks um but I'm just I, like I said, I've already wiped down everything. I'm about to just put my nightgown on. I got my makeup wipes. So I'm about to wipe my makeup off. And I'm about to go to bed. Um, I ate a lot today. Um, I haven't really talked about my weight loss. I've gained some weight. I gained some weight after I got my gallbladder removed. But I've been trying to lose weight. And actually, I've been intermittent fasting and not eating carbs after three. And I haven't drank any sodas this month either. For the whole month of july so i'm gonna probably try to continue that because the last time i was home i weighed myself and i lost seven pounds doing that so that's good so i felt like with everything that was going on today with the outage i was kind of stressed out for myself and others so i was definitely stressed eating which i have a big problem with <sighs> tomorrow's a new day and I'm going to start over again tomorrow and just make it work. So, tomorrow is a really long day. Like, our flight leaves at 9.15 Pacific time. And we have five hours and 45 minutes from here to JFK. And then from JFK to Detroit. So, it's a long day. And to be honest, we don't get back until 9.35. So that last flight to Atlanta is going to be gone. And not to mention that last flight to Atlanta that used to have 80 open seats now has zero open seats because of all the outages, cancellations, and delays. So I probably wouldn't have made that flight anyways. Um, so I have a jump seat the next day. I'll be lounging it. And that's okay. That's okay. So yeah, um, I don't have anything else to say. Might try to get some clips tomorrow of us on the aircraft. We'll see, but it's just been, it's just been a lot, y'all. There's so many people and crews that are stranded in all different places. Like when we got off the aircraft in San Francisco, it was bananas. Like. I couldn't believe how many people were there this late at night in San Francisco because they're just stranded. Um, they're offering incentive pay for people to help up, help up, pick up trips and help. Um, Atlanta is struggling the most, obviously, because they have the most flights. But a lot of things were delayed out of Detroit today too, or and canceled. So I don't know. This is this is bad. My uncle is supposed to. He's not uh, traveling on my benefits, but he's supposed to go to Curacao tomorrow. And I'm just wondering, like, is he gonna make it? Because most of the international flights, like, they didn't even try. They just canceled them. So if the inbound plane doesn't come in, then there's no outbound, you know? So I was telling him, make sure you check the status of your flight before you go to the airport, because you don't wanna, we live far from the airport. So I'm like, you don't wanna go all the way up there and you ain't got no flight or it's delayed or whatever. So good night, y'all. Y'all look at this, I'm so mad. You probably can't see because of the sun. But that over there is the beach. Sand and water. There's like a little bridge over there. I'm so mad because it's like 640. 
But I'm up because it's time for me to get dressed. And y'all know I'm a beach girl. Y'all know I would have been right over there at that beach if we had time. I'm so upset. Oh. Hey guys. So the last time that you would have seen me. Sorry, I wanted to put my seatbelt on. But the last time that you would have seen me, I was sitting in that hotel lobby um, in Tampa. And so I just wanted to explain what happened. So I was on a three day trip when the IT outage hit. Um, honestly, I didn't really experience that much of a difference in my schedule until the very last day. Um, because like I said, I was on a three day rotation. A lot of my flights were afternoon flights. So I wasn't really affected. Well, I was a little bit. Anyways, the first day of my trip, I did Detroit, Boston, Boston, Detroit, Detroit, Nashville. Um, my Detroit to Nashville was super delayed because of thunderstorms in Atlanta. So it was supposed to leave at like seven. It didn't leave until 11. So we got to Nashville really late. Um, and then we laid over. The next morning, I woke up to the IT outage information. But our flight wasn't until 315 and it was from Nashville to LAX and then we did LAX to San Fran it was delayed until about 430 because of the IT issues the pilots didn't get their minimum rest so they delayed it so that they would get their minimum rest um, and then you know we did LAX and then continued on to San Francisco now the next day I was supposed to do San Francisco to JFK and then JFK to Detroit end of my rotation they end up rerouting me uh, JFK to Tampa and then when we got to the gate there was like they rerouted our whole crew a crew of four to Tampa and then when we got there there were like six other flight attendants that had been rerouted there as well so it took crew scheduling probably like four not four two to three hours to decide who they wanted to send to Tampa and it was me I ended up going and one other person from my crew, original crew, ended up going. However, they never, middle of our trip, we timed out, um, which, you know, we were already in flight by the time we timed out, so we'll just get the extra pay for it, and that's fine. But when we got to Tampa, there was no hotel information for me. The fourth crew, because I was five, there was a minimum crew of four, and I was the fifth crew member for some reason. Um, originally they had us deadheading from Tampa back to Detroit and then they changed it to where me and the, uh, my original crew member would work the flight Tampa to Detroit. So I assume they sent me and him because they wanted us to work that flight back to Detroit the next day. So um, he replaced a crew member from the original crew because what happened was they ended up sending the original crew and one of their crew members got rerouted to Boston. So he replaced their crew member. And then I was a fifth crew member. So he took the hotel of that crew member that he replaced. I didn't have any hotel information. However, when we got to the airport, there was two 
people there, two sets of transportation there, and one of them said, oh, I'm here for the added crew member. So we all assumed that that was my shuttle because I was the fifth crew member and there was only four needed, so I was the added crew member. So I get in the shuttle with this guy, I go to the hotel, I get to the hotel, they have no information for me. They don't have my flight number, they don't have my name, nothing. So I'm on the phone with crew accommodations and I'm on the chat with crew accommodations and I literally sat in the hotel all night in the lobby and they never answered. And then when my chat was assigned to someone, she stayed in the chat for about 15 minutes and didn't say anything to me and then she ended my chat. So she ended up uh, calling the hotel to book a reservation for a, two different flight attendants. And the desk agent was like, well, there's a flight attendant who's been sitting here all night. Are you not booking a room for her? So she's like, who is it? Oh, well, I don't. So the, he gave her my name and she was like, oh, I don't have anything for her. So he was like, well, here, let me let you talk to her. So when I get on the phone, I'm like, what's your name? So she tells me her name and I'm like, oh, you're the one that just ended my chat. I've been waiting in the chat all night to get a room and when you got in the chat you ended it so she's like oh no your chat's right here and i'm like oh well on my end it says that the chat is closed so at this point y'all it's five o'clock in the morning and you have to have nine hours legally nine hours behind the door to work the flight um when she ended my chat this is before she even called when she ended my chat the it was eight hours and 38 minutes prior to departure which means I was already at the less than nine hour mark behind the door. Not to mention they rerouted me into my off day and it just so happens, Annie usually stays with my uncle, but my uncle was out of town. So I was supposed to, I requested these days off anyways because I needed to be home to watch Annie while he's out of town. So it was like the worst time. They rerouted me into my off day they didn't give me a hotel, so I didn't have proper rest. And it was just a mess. Like the whole thing was just a mess. So, I went home. And I wouldn't recommend anybody do this. It was a very big risk for me. I am still in fly right. So I was worried when I made this decision that I would get in trouble, but I, also knew that I had legalities backing me up, which is they flew me into my off day and they didn't give me proper rest. So I was not legal to work the flight anyways. And that was the only flight when usually when they fly you into your off day, once you get back to base, they can't assign you anything else. And the flight was just from Tampa to base. So I found a jump seat from Tampa to Atlanta and I came home and I spoke to the FSMs in the lounge in Atlanta and I explained to them what happened. Uh, they let scheduling know that I was not in Tampa and I would not be working that flight. And they took it off my schedule and I went and got Annie and I've been home ever since. Um, today is July 25th and I've been home since the 21st. I actually go back to work today. I have a three day trip. I have a jump seat today to Detroit. So I'm just hoping that everything goes well. Um, they had kind of said that things would be cleared up by today, but I have no idea because I haven't been there. Um, so yeah, I did have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with my manager yesterday and it wasn't like a, you're in trouble meeting. It's just when you're in fly right, you have a meeting once a month. Some of them are like group meetings with your class and then some of them are one-on-one -on -one meetings. So during my one-on-one -on -one meeting I did tell her you know this is what happened um, and she kind of basically was like well if you weren't legal to work the flight anyways then you know I don't really foresee you being in trouble it is what it is and she was like the only thing I will say is next time do not sleep in the hotel lobby like if you know getting a room your on your own is not in your budget and we haven't provided you with a room she was like that's why i have a company card i'm oh, sorry that's why i have a company card i could have got you a room so 
it is what it is so i have a three-day trip today to be honest um well i have a six day because it's three a three-day trip and then a three-day trip um i go back to san diego for one layover and then to Co connecticut for the other so i'm not really sure if i'm gonna vlog this trip and then the trip after that both layovers are in raleigh which y'all have seen me vlog in raleigh too so i'm not really sure if i'll be vlogging how much i'll be vlogging until maybe next month because I have a personal trip coming up next month, but to be honest, my trips are not really like that interesting until I come back from my personal trip, which is fine because I have lots of vlogs that I need to edit and put out for y'all that I've just been recording and you know, I only post a video every Monday, so I'm like super behind on content. But okay, y'all. Um, I gotta run in the store and get a couple things. So, I just wanted to update y'all on that. And oh, the last thing that I will say is the reason why Delta has been having such a problem with getting back on track after this IT outage is because. <laughs> Someone's getting in the car next to us and she's barking at them. Anyways, um, she, she, one of the things that was affected by our, um, by the outage is the crew tracking. Um, so we have... 28,000 flight attendants. That doesn't even include pilots. And the crew tracking app is not updating the way that it should. So, pretty much, they don't know where we are. They Crew tracking doesn't know where we are. And as a result, you have some flights that don't have a crew. And then some flights that have a crew of 10. Like that flight I showed up to the other day. Where there was freaking 10 flight attendants on one flight when the minimum crew was only four so again they say that it's supposed to be resolved by today so i hope so i really do because we been getting hit with the hammer with this it outage all right y'all bye thank you so much for watching um this vlog things have been crazy thank you to my new subscribers and viewers i really appreciate it um make sure you like comment share subscribe if you like what you see and yeah this is the wonderless have a good one